Okay. Have you ever had a favourite piece of clothing and what was so special about it? I have lots of favourite pieces of clothing, but unfortunately <laughs> they, all, they all belong to a Dunedin designer. Um, and so I, I couldn't actually name one of them. <laughs> so there, there's, there's the latest one. That's a tough one for someone who's been in isolation for a while too. I haven't had the chance to wear I have, I have got a lot of very nice clothes in the wardrobe that haven't seen daylight for a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been involved in an unusual project or event? No. <laughs> I bet if I apprised you with wine, I could get an answer to that one. No, I, I can't think of anything that's unusual. Yeah. Okay. When have you ever surprised yourself? Um, I think it's it's probably some of it is is a work um, response to that. Um, so one of the things that I did as part of a, a trustee role back when I worked for a trustee company in New Zealand was um, project, effectively project managed the delivery of a really big piece of work. It was overwhelming at the start and it required lots of arms and tentacles in it and we'd all underestimated the size of the job um, and the resources that would be needed, but somehow I got it over the line. It, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, <laughs> One no, little bit. But, but, but I don't time, know why that would have surprised you. <laughs> okay. Um, the last one. Oh, thank goodness. Tell us about, <laughs> you're, you're so panicked by these because you haven't prepared anything. Yeah, I'm very panicked by these. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. I know, we do it to everyone now. Mm. Okay, tell us about an incident you have had with an animal, either a pet or otherwise. Well, it's funny that you should say that because my dear dog has cost the best part of $1,000 in the last five weeks. He went to have his injections. That was fine. He was perfect when he went to have his injections. Three days later, there was a big lump in his side, which um, he'd brushed past a nice plant. So it was either a palm frond, a bougainvillea, or a rose. And because he's a double-coated dog, this barb went right in. Um, and so that became nicely inflamed. So back at the vet four days later, Got that sorted, $300 worth of antibiotics later, a shaven hole in the side of the dog, brought him home. Had to go back three days or five days later um, to be checked. The vet gave him another five days worth of antibiotics and anti-inflammatories, which he likes eating with camembert cheese, I might add. And um, said, oh, did you know his gums are red? What's he been eating? And I said, no, he's fine. Oh, I think he needs to come back and have his teeth cleaned and scaled. And if, if that fails, he's on to cortisone. So that was $450 for teeth and scaled for a dog. So all I can say is I was really hoping he didn't, you know, run out on the road or do anything after that. Um, it, yeah. So has he got his own financial bucket? <laughs> he's rapidly needing it. <laughs> Well, oh, yeah. The, the thank best you. part of, yeah. That, thank you for playing. You're a good sport. Yeah. And you never know what's going to come up. You actually got off quite lightly. I think those are quite good questions. So thank you very oh. much for being okay. here today. Thanks, Lynn. See ya. And Bye. we'll catch up when you get back from New Zealand. Enjoy that wonderful time with your family. Oh, and you know what? I need some more photos. We need updates. Okay. Righto. See you then. Bye. See you. Bye.